my boys to Wendy's for hamburgers and let me tell you, <laughs> I am so starving right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, All Things Keto with Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, and today I'm going to share with you my journey through a, my first 72-hour fast. Going into this fast, my plan was to only drink electrolytes and salt and water and coffee. I recently purchased the book Fast Like a Girl by Mindy Pills, and she hosted a 72-hour uh, fast for women all across the country. Um, but basically in this video, I want to share my experience every day, um, kind of how I was feeling, what I was doing, what I was eating. I will say that even though my plan for this fast was just to be like salt, electrolytes, water, and black coffee and black tea, um, I did go off plan a little bit. I'll share a little bit about that. In Dr. Pelz's book, she talks about um, fasted snacks. So these are like fat-based snacks that you could help that you could use to help you get through a wave of hunger without pulling your body out of the state of autophagy. Um, so I do feel like it was a little bit of a cheat. It wasn't a perfect water fast, but I do feel like this was, an ex um, this was a journey that I want to share with you guys. So um, here we go. We're going to do days one, two, and three. And I'm going to talk at the end about how I broke my fast and how I'm doing it a little bit differently. Good morning, everybody. I am working on my 72 hour fast with Mindy Pels, the fast like a girl reset. Um, I just wanted to update you real quick. I am, let's see, I started yesterday at 3 uh, p.m. So I am like, what am I, like 18 hours in now or something. Um, so I started my morning this morning with some yoga and then I had some black coffee with salt. Um, and then I've been sipping on Earl Grey tea this morning as I did schooling with the kids and I'm about ready to get working on some organization projects. This is one of my biggest hacks that I use to keep myself distracted and excited about a fast and just kind of busy. So I'm just going to work on those and corral these kids. So. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. I've done an organizing project and now I need to make lunch for my family. It's about 11 o'clock. I'm gonna make some mini meatloaves real quick um, and then smell them cook, which is a little sad, but I do have to feed my kiddos and my husband. So I'm gonna make some lunch. Hey guys, so lunch is over. I am sitting down. I have my heating pad because I have a a sore neck and back um, but I'm about 22 hours in and I'm just gonna sit down and read my fast like a girl book and the kids are now napping and I'm just gonna drink some more Earl Grey tea and drink some water and probably have a little bit of salt um, I'm not really feeling too hungry doing pretty good I was definitely having some hunger pangs with um, making lunch but uh, I got through it no problem first day is I, I've done a lot of 36 hour fast so I think um, it's gonna be fairly easy until about dinner time then I'll get a little bit hangry and have some tea or electrolytes or something and just keep on going okay so I'm about 24 hours into my 72 hour fast and I'm gonna check my blood um, ketones and glucose so I'm gonna use my precision extra uh, meter and then I have a glucose and a ketone strip. So the ketone ones are purple, but I'm gonna prick my finger. Just a little poke, it's not too bad. The... Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Then when the drop of blood is there, then you can go ahead and start. And then it will beep when there's enough blood in there. And then it'll count down for 10 seconds. Okay, my ketones are 2.7. The blue strip in for uh, glucose. But this is also going to beep when it has enough blood in there. Okay, and this one counts down for 5 seconds. And I am at 80, which is a really good glucose. Okay, so I just came in for my 10 minutes outside and I am drinking my 
caramel chocolate salt. It's soothing and delicious. It's giving me a little extra flavor and some electrolytes. Okay, it's about 6.15 and I am just starving. I am not ready to break my fast, but I was sick last week um, for several days having a really hard time with a stomach bug. So I definitely went into this fast a little bit more hungry than usual. So I'm actually going to just have like one cup of bone broth with extra salt just to kind of take the curve off of my hunger. I know there's a little bit of protein in there, but I think this is going to be um, overall better than breaking my fast completely. Um, just kind of make me feel like I'm having a little snack and then I'm going to probably go to bed early after the call tonight. So anyway, just wanted to update you. Good morning. Um, I have made it through another day. <laughs> Not really a whole day, but uh, it is 7 o'clock in the morning of day two of my 72 hour fast. Last night when I made the kids dinner, I did end up eating another tablespoon of butter because I was just, I could not um, make it through without being so starving for some reason, just had a hard time. Um, so I had some butter with a little bit of salt um, sprinkled on it. Not perfect, but I'm just gonna keep on going. Um, I have started my day with salted black coffee this morning and some water. I did some yoga, um, and now I'm getting ready to do um, breakfast for my family. Um, and then we're just gonna go about the day. I have, I gotta school my seven year old, and then um, I have a meeting with a friend who's coming over for coffee. And then um, I'm gonna just kind of do some organizing and cleaning projects around the house to keep myself busy and distracted. Around three today, I'm planning on checking my ketones and glucose again. Um, to see where I'm at at 48 hours. About to get started on lunch for my family. I'm making some chicken. Um, this second day is the worst day for me. I am f I'm feeling fine, but I'm definitely, my tummy is getting grumbly. I'm starting to get hungry. Um, so when I start to get hungry, I try to do some Redmond's coarse sea salt and I just suck on a few pieces at a time. I drink lots of water. Um, I have my electrolytes already mixed up in my new Stanley cup that I got for Christmas, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get working on that so my kids can eat and take a nap and then I will just sit down and relax while they're napping because this is my unmotivated day and where I don't really want to keep going, but I'm just going to keep pushing through. Hey guys, so I am 48 and a half hours in to my 72 hour fast, so I am definitely two thirds of the way through. Um, so I'm here to check my glucose and my ketones. This is going to be the glucose. 69. That's pretty good. We're at 3.8. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of probably do a YouTube video today and then um, I have to cook my family dinner at some point here. Um, I'll probably go to bed a little early or have an Epsom salt bath or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm holding steady. Good morning. We are on the morning of day three of my 72 hour fast. Um, little update last night during dinner I had a really hard time cooking for my family I started getting really hungry and I ate a couple tablespoons of butter and then I made some um, I made some chocolate electrolytes um, made me feel better but then I went up to my room and I started doing some video editing because I just I needed to get away from the kitchen um, so now I think I am about 60-ish, must be 66-ish hours in because I'm going to be breaking at 72. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good. Last night I laid down for bed. I was exhausted. Um, I I fell asleep on the couch watching TV with my husband and then I moved, 
I went up to bed, I brushed my teeth and uh, got in bed and I just laid there for like an hour and a half before I could actually sleep. Uh, I just wasn't tired. Uh, it was like a little power nap on the couch did not help me. So kind of interesting. I have not actually experienced insomnia at all with fasting in the past, but I've never gone 72 hours before. So um, that's a new symptom for me. Um, woke up early this morning. I did a yoga workout and then I started editing some videos. I've been drinking my black coffee. This is my second cup with salt. Um, I'm just going to kind of clean up the house, then get going on my errands that I have to run. Um, I should be out of the house quite a bit today, so that's actually pretty helpful at the end of my fast when I'll be hungry. When I'm driving, it's easy to say no to food because I have to buy it. Um, so I will update you later on today. Um, I'm back from town with my boys, and now I just have tons of groceries to put away. Um, I took my boys to Wendy's for hamburgers, and... Let me tell you, I am so starving right now. I did have my little salt shaker of salt with me, so that helped, but it smelled like road trip vibes in my car, and I was like so hungry. So it is 12.15, so I can break my fast in about two hours and 45 minutes. So I'm gonna put away all the groceries I got brought home from Walmart, and then I'm probably going to make myself some coffee and um, sit down and edit a video um, for you and as I wait for my food. I'm on hour 71 and a half of my 72 hour fast and I am really hungry. So I've been editing for a while and now I'm outside for my 10 minutes of fresh air um, for the day. And I'm just kind of keeping myself distracted until I'm ready to heat up my bone broth to start my um, eating window. So I'm feeling really good though. I was feeling a little bit weak, um, but I'm overall feeling pretty good considering I haven't really eaten much of anything for the last 72 hours. <laughs> it's 2.50 right now and I am supposed to be breaking my fast in about 10 minutes. Um, I have a call at three, so I am just gonna test my blood um, a little bit early. Get some blood. We're gonna start with glucose today. And we're at 71. That's pretty good. Gonna do ketones next. And ketones are 3.8. Okay, so with a glucose of 71 and a ketone of 3.8, my Dr. Boz ratio is 18.7%. So I'm definitely within the range of immune boosting autophagy. So I feel pretty good about those results. I definitely, I feel like I could keep going, but I have been thinking about eating all day. So I am going to break my fast um, and I will come back and kind of do a summary of what happened and how I felt and how I broke my fast. Well, there you have it. I've made it successfully through my first 72 hour fast, three whole days. So I would like to say that I did allow myself a little bit extra. I allowed myself some bone broth on night one um, and some tablespoons of butter the other nights. Um, this is referred to as a fasted snack um, in Dr. Pels' book, uh, Fast Like a Girl. And this was just kind of an alternative to use um, if I felt really miserable, um, but I didn't really want to break my fast and get myself out, out of autophagy. Um, I was sick with a pretty bad stomach bug the week before I did this fast, but I decided to just jump in and try to do it anyway. Um, so this was kind of a way for me to get through the fast, but kind of um, modify it just a little bit to meet my body where it was at right, right this week. I felt that utilizing these fasted snacks was just a better option than quitting the fast entirely and not um, pushing myself to be challenged in this way. I did really well from the time I woke up to about dinner time, like five or six. So I had to cook my family dinner every night and um, which normally is not a big deal, but 
I think I just really struggled with the smells and cooking. So I think something that I could do in the future is maybe make sure that I have three casseroles like ready to just bake and serve and then get out of the kitchen instead of spending an hour preparing one meal for everybody while I'm not eating. Another option for me would be while I'm cooking lunch, just go ahead and prep dinner. So all they have to do is reheat it and the kitchen is actually closed around dinner time. I feel like that would also help me. Um, it's just easier to leave the food put away except for like reheating on paper plates or something. Um, so those are two options that I think I would like to try utilizing the next time I try a 72 hour fast. So I would like to talk about how I broke my fast. Um, typically when you fast for as long as 72 hours, you should be a little bit cautious about how quickly you start reintroducing food and what kinds of food you introduce. Um, so I kind of went with um, Dr. Pell's idea of reintroduction of food. Um, it's not necessarily a keto approach. Um, so I'm not really sure what other people would say, but I did start with one cup of bone broth, um, followed by a chia seed pudding that I made. Um, so that's a little bit more gentle on the gut. And then about a half hour later, I steamed some broccoli and ate it with butter. Um, and that was really good and kind of gentle on my stomach. And then a half hour after that, I had um, two of the meatballs that I had made my family a couple days prior. Um, and then I had like a kale, Brussels sprout, radicchio um, salad topped with some sauerkraut and then a Primal Kitchen um, dressing. And then I had like a few sweet potato pieces and um, some black beans on the side. And it was kind of like a well-rounded, lots of fiber, a few carbs, um, and then some protein and a good healthy dressing. Um, so some of these foods, they are probiotic heavy. So like the sauerkraut and then the chia seeds and the bone broth, like that's gonna help your gut um, get used to like digesting food again. Um, and I actually didn't really have any stomach distress by the way I um, reintroduced the food. So I am following, I am semi following the fast like a girl approach and um, she has like feasting times of the cycle as part of where you are at in your cycle. Um, so there are times when you're feasting on a few more carbs or a few more vegetables with your meat and fat and then there are times where you can basically be carnivore and fast a lot because you don't need a bunch of extra carbs at this point. Um, so where I'm at in my cycle at the end of this, I was kind of in a feasting window. So I was like, you know, I'll just play with a little bit of sweet potato and see how that goes. Not having any issues with it. Um, but I am kind of breaking out a little bit. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's a little bit too much glucose in the root, root vegetables. But I think I just want to be cautious about how much I add in at a time and I don't want to go overboard. Um, so I'm just going to keep monitoring how I feel um, as I add those in and maybe take them back out again, see if I feel better without them. The next time I do a 72 hour fast, I definitely want to push myself to stick with the salt, electrolytes, black coffee, black tea, water, um, no food, no fat. Um, and see if my um, glucose and ketone levels are any better. My, as you can see in the video before, the videos prior to this, um, I had pretty decent ketones and glucose the whole time, even though I had those fasted snacks, that butter and the bone and the bone broth. I would love to hear in the comments how the longest fast that you've ever gone. So um, comment letting me know what your longest fast has been and what your experience was. Was it, did you want to keep going by the time you hit it, you know your goal or were you just like dying by the time you hit your goal um, when I broke my fast I wasn't um, super miserable I could have gone longer but I had convinced myself that I was going to eat that day so I it was just like no question about it I was gonna eat so I decided to eat if you could like comment and subscribe I would just so much appreciate that and as always I hope wherever you are today you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon friends